is the leading cause of cancer deaths in the U.S. And today, the American Cancer Society released new guidelines for lung cancer screening. Mandy Gaither tells us who the updated guidelines will impact. It's a potentially deadly disease. Lung cancer kills more people in the U.S. than colon, breast, and prostate cancers combined. But early detection can save lives. Only about 5% of those that are eligible for lung cancer screening actually are being screened. Previously, the recommendation was for anyone between the ages of 50 to 80 with at least a 20 pack per year smoking history who currently smokes cigarettes or quit within the past 15 years to be screened annually for lung cancer. But the American Cancer Society is now advising doctors to remove that time since quit criteria. What we found was that it, while there was initially sort of a decrease or leveling of, of, of risk of lung cancer, as a patient ages, the risk of lung cancer increases significantly. Dr. William Dayhut says this update will make it easier to know who should be screened for lung cancer. People don't have to sort of calculate when someone quits smoking. And, and by, by changing our guidelines, we're actually going to increase the number of eligible patients by about 37%. And which means by about 5 million more Americans will now be eligible for lung cancer screening. The screening is a quick low dose CT scan of the chest since coverage is largely driven by screening recommendations from the U.S. Preventive Services Task Force. And that agency has not currently adopted this update. Insurance may or may not cover lung cancer screenings based on this updated ACS guideline. But Dayhut hopes that will change. We're hopeful that once our guidelines are in place, people will look at the value of that. 